Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna do a roadmap learning cybersecurity. If you wanna do blue teaming, red teaming, offensive security, defensive security, whatever you wanna do in the world of cyber, you're gonna be in the right place. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing that we need to always understand are fundamental IT skills. What does this actually mean? Basics of computers, right? Understand what a computer is, the operating systems like Linux, Windows, Mac OS, et cetera, and understanding those skills are critical for any cybersecurity job. Basics of computer networking, understanding what an IP address is, understanding what a router, a switch, a firewall, different kinds of network devices, make sure you understand that, that is super, super critical. The next one is computer hardware components. What does this mean? Like, what is a motherboard? What is RAM? What is a hard drive? What is a CPU? All of that stuff is super, super critical. And this is the first, first step understanding the fundamentals of IT. So that's number one. Number two is computer networking. What is computer networking? What is the OSI model? understanding those seven layers, right? Network topologies, understanding those different ones in order for you to attack a network or just understanding how data traverses on a network. What is layer two, what is layer three, etc. right? Common protocols in their uses. What does that mean? If I say, okay, port 80 for HTTP, port 443 for HTTPS, port 21, 23, 22, 25, et cetera, if we're doing, for an example, a network scan or a NMAP scan against a target and we get a whole bunch of ports open and services, you should understand what those ports and services are and what they do. What is the difference between IPv4 and IPv6? Understanding these IP addresses are super, super critical for any cybersecurity job. And obviously, my favorite, the basics of subnetting. So if you're given a external assessment on the pen testing side, and we said, we're gonna give you whatever, 0.0.0.0 slash 29. Obviously, that's not the real IP, or 1.1.1.1, which is Cloudflare for an example, or whatever, 1.2.3.4, slash 30, slash 29, slash 27, whatever it is, slash 24, all of, you know, all of these are a CIDR notation. So understanding those networking components, networking protocols, networking services, everything that has to do with the network, you should understand before you get into cybersecurity. And the next one here I have listed is security skills and knowledge. What do I mean? Say for example, the CIA triad, understanding confidentiality, integrity, availability, etc. all of that good stuff understanding that in the world of cyber and information security at that, you should know, right? Cyber attacks and cyber crimes, staying up to date with these kinds of attacks are super, super critical for a job because once you get into a job interview, 99% of the time you're gonna be asked, what do you do to keep up with cybersecurity news? Or how do you keep up to date with the latest and greatest threats, etc." You have to know how to answer that or else you're going to be probably a little ding on that resume, right? So what about some cryptography? Cryptography is super, super critical to know as well. And understand common standards, right? Understanding what is Kali Linux, Parrot OS, Black Arc, these different penetration testing and information security operating systems. That's super, super critical for your cybersecurity career. So the next thing I have here is getting your hands dirty, which hands-on skills, right? So how can we get this? I talk about this a lot on my, on my channel, understanding and building out a virtual lab with VMware Workstation, VirtualBox, you can use ESXi, you can use whatever, Hyper-V, whatever you wanna use for your virtualization technology and build upon that. That is super, super critical to get your hands dirty, understand uh, these different platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, uh, Pico CTF, all these different CTFs, understanding that you can get hands-on training 
with these platforms and it's called capture the flags. And then tools you should know, you don't have to be a master at these, but start understanding to get your hands dirty is Nmap. Just like I said, we need to know what services and ports are open on an operating system or a host. We should understand Nmap. Burp Suite, which is a proxy for web apps. This is a super, super critical one to know as well. Wireshark, understanding how to analyze and look at the protocols on the wire. Metasploit, who is, URL scan. There's so many different tools, but these are just a few to get your hands dirty. So the next one here I have is certifications. So certifications for any beginner, you should at least have your CompTIA A+, Network+, Plus, and Security+. Plus. Why is that? Because just like I said in the beginning of this video, understanding the core components of a computer, understanding some of the networking protocols and understanding some of the network routing, switching, etc., is critical. And then understanding the basics of information security, which you'll get on the Security Plus. And then go into more cybersecurity, you can do like CYSA Plus, you can do EJPT, PNPT, PJPT, from TCM security, and these are all hands-on, not obviously the A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, but PJPT, PMPT, all those are hands-on practical exams. And then obviously if you wanna get your you know, feet, in a, feet deeper in the water, you can go to like more of like CISSP, GPEN, and then like OSEP, uh, and then now they have Hack the Box has a CPTS, CBBH, and, you know, CRTP, CRTE, whatever, all these other certifications. But I would keep it, this is more for beginners, so stay with the beginner certifications and then branch out from there. And then the next thing I have here is programming skills. You should know how to at least understand how to read some Python, some JavaScript, PowerShell, and I put C++ just in case you wanna do, you know, some exploits and exploit development and some other fun stuff like that. And uh, the next and last one here I have on my list is your cloud skills. I left this for last because this is a pop-in topic, right? Everything is going to Azure, GCP, AWS, all these good, good, fantastic cloud providers. And we have to understand, yes, it is just another computer in the cloud, but at the end of the day, there is some, there's some differences when you're pen testing, when you're securing these kinds of environments. So understanding cloud services, SaaS, PaaS, I almost said ASS, but like IaaS, infrastructure as a service, like I said, cloud environments like AWS, GCP, and Azure. And then the cloud, the cloud models, understanding the different models, private cloud, public cloud, public cloud, hybrid, right? And then the common storage, cloud storage providers, right? So understanding how the data is stored inside of the cloud. And that's pretty much it. This list can go on and on and on. I just wanted to keep it short, sweet, and to the point. And I hope this been informative for you guys. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. And just to throw it out there, I do have a course coming out. Hopefully it will be out by September 2nd. So that's in a few weeks now, almost like three weeks. So hopefully it's uh, really informative for those folks that are just beginning. It's called, it's gonna be about junior penetration testing. And it has a lot of fun, cool things that I put my work into and uh, hopefully you like it. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, have a beautiful day and stay safe.